This morning we were woken by gunfire. Um, it's the beginning of the season, um, which takes us by surprise every year, although it, had, it didn't this morning somehow. I was out here last night trying to film or record the, the stags bellowing. They were really close over um over the other side of the main road really close bellowing to each other you know and it went on for a couple of hours but i couldn't really do it it, it just didn't come out very well on um on film so i've i've deleted it um but i i sort of knew you know um that that they were going to be at risk today um i was woken earlier by dogs and i could hear dogs out um over there um but the hunters can't actually start shooting until after eight o'clock so i think i probably heard the dogs around about six or seven o'clock this morning that's not a stag bellowing um so yeah this is such a shame you know i i love hearing them i love hearing them calling to each other, bellowing and, um, you know, whatever they're doing, rutting. Um, and and I know that, you know, they, their life is going to be at risk now for the next few months. So that's a shame. Um, we went to um, the Vernissage in San Pierre de Maya yesterday and you will have seen that video. Um, where are we? I can't even think about what you're going to see. Um, anyway, you will have seen the video. It's um, it's Sunday morning, and you won't get this till Monday evening, I think. So um, I'm a bit ahead of myself with the bogs. Uh, yeah, so we went to the vernissage, and um, I thought, and I, so I did a video inside there, and then coming out. I said to Mark, I'll walk down, you, you, I walked back down into the village and um, I did a vlog walking back down into the village that um, I hadn't, <laughs> the camera was on pause. So I was really, I really peed off. You you still got a nice flavour of San Pierre de Maillé, but um, you you missed some stuff, which is a shame, but, but Tompi... Um, um, I've been thinking about, and I've still not really got my head around it, um, but it feels to me, and I may be wrong, but it feels to me that we, 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 I say we, um, I don't think I do, but it, there seems to be this whole culture of vilifying women, and I don't think that same culture is around men. And I could be wrong, um, often I am, um, but it feels like women are always prey to vilification and somehow men aren't. Um, and I'm particularly aware at the moment because Megan is being dragged through the tabloids again, particularly from the Daily Hile. Um, I shared a Twitter um, tweet um, on Sunday afternoon of the 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 headlines or the the um, not headlines because it, it's um, there's a lot of them but the stuff from the Daily Hile over the 48 hours between the Queen dying and 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 yesterday and I've shared that because it is just disgusting and they haven't they have not let up on Meghan and. Everybody else, everybody else is being more respectful about um, the days of mourning um, after the Queen has died. You know, people are being more respectful, but not the Daily Hile. They have not let up on her. Um, and I, I'm just horrified that another young royal is being hounded in the way that Princess Diana was hounded and whilst she was idealised she was still hounded 
never nobody ever gave her any privacy she they never let up um and sadly for megan she's not even idealized uh, and i i really don't i don't understand it and i get some really nasty women mainly you know people i'm not going to say women some really nasty people commenting about her like she's a piece of shit and I think, where do you get your news from? Where, what are you reading? <sighs> Drive by by a tractor. What are you reading? And do you, why do you believe that bollocks? Why? My, I shared something on Facebook yesterday of a picture of, um, I think, I can't remember what it was now. It was something, it was something about Megan and, 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 and whatever. And um, my daughter showed it to my husband who just dismissed it, which is very typical of people that read that type of tripe. They just dismiss anything that might be positive about this woman. It's like she can't ever get it right for anybody. And, um, are just astonished and I know a lot of Megan haters are gonna come along and put me in my place well you can fuck off don't even bother because I don't want to read your tripe on my comments they're, they're, you're just you're just nasty people and you need to look in the mirror and look and think about why you vilify somebody so much who you've never met who you don't know you have no idea about what life was like for her when she grew up. You have no idea about what goes on for her. No idea at all, apart from the crap that you're given by the 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 tabloid arseholes. That's why. Don't come tell me why you know that Megan is a nasty person. Talk to me about Prince Andrew. Why? Why is he not mentioned when people want to blame somebody for what they did to the Queen in her last few years? Why does nobody mention Prince Andrew? Why? Jesus fucking Christ. He did more. You know, the, imagine, imagine having to bail out your son, who is a prince, because he was a nonce. Talk about that to me. Don't talk to me about Meghan. Talk to me about Prince Andrew and what your thoughts are about that. Uh, vilify him. Um, I caught footage yesterday of um, William, Catherine, Meghan and Harry coming down to look at the flowers. Um, and I, it, I was quite moved by it because I was reminded of um, William and Harry when they were younger having to do the same. Um, when Diana died and I just thought you know what's coming up for them how hard it is for them to be doing that together again uh, under different circumstances and my first thoughts were the Daily Hile will be picking on Harry because he hasn't got a black suit on that will be where they'll go with that and I might be I might be wrong but uh, I'll bet 99% that I'm right they're fucking bastards um, yes, I have been banned from Tattle. No, I don't care. No, I'm not going back. No, they wouldn't let me back anyway. Ban lifted on the 24th of September. Well, I don't think so after what I've been posting. Um, yeah, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. That's not really important, is it? It's just a, it's just an internet forum that I got drawn into and, and uh, I don't, I wish I hadn't really. Um, it's not always a nice place well it's not really a nice place to be so um anyway so anyway tell me tell me about prince andrew because i want to hear your thoughts about that not about megan